musicians. <laughs> You're dancing in one accord, unity. Now for that moment that you were doing that, you thought about nothing else. You didn't think about hating your neighbor, if you were mad with your brother or your sister. All you thought about was <laughs> waving. That's a part of being peaceful. If you do that together, you won't be able to do anything else. Your hands are to hold and to love and not fight. Well, I want to thank all of you who allow it to be possible for me to be here. Excellency and Blossy and Gail and Gary Lee who introduced me and if I start calling names, I cannot pronounce them. So please forgive me, um, Dr. Hank and Dr. Axie, I don't forget, Reverend Down, all the names that you call has already been established. Thank you. I want to talk about the arts. In the Bahamas, the young boys that are getting in trouble with gangs and shooting each other, killing each other, we try to avoid that, take the guns out of their hands and put a kid on, take the drums out of their hand and put a drum, take the guns out of their hand and give them something to do creative, the arts. If you can take the instruments that are violent, that are causing them to be violent out of their hands and replace it with something creative, yeah. you can get them to be at peace with each other. In the Bahamas, we have a festival called Chokinu. All year round, there's war going on among the young people one way or the other. But during the time of preparation of celebration for our festivals, we have all of them come together in different places. We call them shack, but they're abandoned buildings or old buildings, they gather together and they do the cutting and the pacing and the decorating of costumes. They were at war with each other all year round. But during the time of coming together and practicing with the music, the horns, and the drums, everyone is at peace. And it's through the arts. And so I can tell you that it works. We're talking about peace. We know that we cannot have peace unless you and I have peace first in our hearts. You cannot have peace unless you have peace in your heart. Because if you don't have peace in your heart, how can you have peace with your brothers and sisters? You know, if you're angry and you don't want no one to talk to you about anything because you are angry, there's nothing you can do. You won't feel like working, you won't feel like going anywhere, but as soon as music and dance, all of you, you know if you're gonna have a party, who do you call for? The musicians. If you're gonna have a wedding, who do you call for? The musicians. If you're gonna have a celebration, you must have dancing and singing there. Don't you do that. So it shows you that the arts can bring people together and can bring people together in peace. For a moment when I started dancing, everyone was like, oh. your attention, the arts. So I just want to say to you today, I jot something down so I don't stray and go all over the place because I have the time. United Nations Universal Declaration of Human Rights in 1948, Article 27, Part 1 states that everyone, regardless of race, color, or creed, has the right to participate in the cultural life of their community freely and to enjoy and share in the advancement and benefits 
of arts and culture. All art forms, whether it's dance, drama, painting, music, can be used to bring about peace and reconciliation in Korea and indeed the world. Arts can command community attention and can assist in bringing those together who are affected and even those who are your enemies. Mm. Now listen, in the beginning, we know the story or you've heard the story, and if you haven't, you'll hear it now. God created the heavens and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And it said the Spirit of the Lord did what? Activity. 